Welcome to an example of a one sample hypothesis test for a proportion. June believes that 50% of first time brides in the United States are younger than their grooms. She performs a hypothesis test to determine if the percentage is the same or different from 50%. June samples 100 first time brides and 53 reply that they are younger than their grooms. For the hypothesis test, she uses a 10% level of significance. Let's begin by listing all of the given information. First, the 10% level of significance indicates that alpha is equal to 0.1 as a decimal. Next, June samples 100 first time brides and therefore the sample size n is 100. 53 reply that they are younger than their grooms and therefore x, the number of successes is 53, which indicates p prime, the sample proportion, is equal to 0.53. Because she is testing to determine if the percentage is the same or different from 50%, the alternative hypothesis is p doesn't equal 0.50, and therefore the null hypothesis is p equals 0.50. Notice because of the not equals here, we will have a two-tailed test. And then finally notice how the sample proportion is 0.03 units from the population proportion, which we can obtain by subtracting 0.50 from 0.53. Notice there is no mention of a mean. The information is given in percentages, which is why we know the problem involves a proportion. Because we have a proportion, we know the test statistic is a z-score. Then looking at the graph here on the left, notice how the population proportion is right in the middle. The sample proportion of 0.53 is to the right. Because we have a two-tailed test though, to find the value on the left, we have to subtract 0.03 from 0.50. which does give us a 0.47 on the left. And therefore the combined area on the left and right is equal to the p-value, and each area is equal to half of the p-value. This also indicates that the p-value is equal to the probability that p-prime is less than or equal to 0.47 on the left, or p-prime is greater than or equal to 0.53 on the right. And now let's go to the calculator, determine the z-score and the p-value. And because we have a proportion, we will be performing a one prop z test. To do this, press stat, right arrow to tests, select option five for a one prop z test. I've already entered the key information. The population proportion is 0 0.5, enter. X equals 53, enter. N equals 100, enter. The null hypothesis is P doesn't equal 0 0.50. We select doesn't equal, arrow down to calculate. Press enter. We have a z-score of 0.6 and a p-value of approximately 0.5485. Let's go ahead and record this. And now let's go back to the calculator. Let's run the test again and select draw. So stat, right arrow to test, option five. Everything stays the same, except now we go down to draw press enter. Notice how this gives us a graph that resembles our graph here on the left, and below we do have the z-score as well as the p-value. Before we interpret the p-value and then compare to alpha, let's take a look at the z-score of 0.6. For a two-tailed test when alpha is equal to 0.1, notice how the z-scores are 1.645 on the right and negative 1.645 on the left. We'll notice how the z-score of 0.6 is not in the rejection region, which indicates we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. But before we formally conclude this, let's interpret the p-value and then compare to alpha. The interpretation of the p-value is if the null hypothesis is true, then there is a 0.5485 probability or 54.85% chance that the sample or estimated proportion is 0.53 or more, or 0.47 or less, meaning this is not a rare event. So if we compare alpha to the p-value, notice how the p-value is high compared to alpha. Looking at our notes below, if the p-value is high, the null must fly, or more formally, because the p-value is greater than alpha, or because alpha is less than the p-value, we do not reject the null hypothesis. So again, in conclusion, at a 10% level of significance, the sample data do not show sufficient evidence that the percentage of first-time brides 
who are younger than their grooms is different from 50%. Again, this is because we are not rejecting the null hypothesis, which is P equals 0.50. I hope you found this helpful.